nuclear fusion is the process of atoms fusing together to create a new compound. It occurs millions of times in the sun, where hydrogen atoms constantly collide with each other, creating helium. Not only does it power our sun, but every star in the galaxy. Scientists have long dreamt of mimicking this process on Earth. For many decades, this has not been possible. A new breakthrough in the U.S. is a major step forward. Last week, at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California, scientists at the National Ignition Facility achieved fusion ignition. And that is creating more energy from fusion reactions than the energy used to start the process. It's the first time it has ever been done in a laboratory, anywhere in the world. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. Granholm's team of scientists believe the results of their experiment paves the way for a brighter future. The discovery could mean an infinite supply of zero carbon energy. Lawrence Krauss is a professor at the physics department of Arizona State University. He argues that while positive, there's still a long way to go. Not a huge amount of energy. It, it's, they're very small pellets being bombarded by intense laser beams, and they're producing enough energy, I understand, to heat something like 10 kettles of water. So they're very small amounts of energy being released, but nevertheless, more than's going in. But that's just a small step on a long road to be, for this becoming practical and commercial. Last year alone, almost $3 billion were pledged by Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos into private fusion companies. Backers are hopeful we can transition to it within a decade, but experts remain critical of how fast this can come into effect. It's been said about nuclear fusion for the last 25 years that it's 25 years in the future, and that's time invariant. It'll always be 25 years in the future. Now maybe, maybe it's 10 years in the future, and the question is, in 10 years from now, will we be saying the same thing? If successfully implemented, this could eradicate the world of its most pressing challenge, threatening our existence, the climate crisis, and with it, powering our planet with virtually carbon-free electricity. Malik Fuda, TRT World.